Good evening and welcome to another episode of Communication Corner. I'm your host, Gail Lewis. Thanks so much for joining me here on set. And if you hadn't noticed in the opening, the set may seem a little bit more colorful than usual, not just because of my rosy personality, but also because of our guest for this evening and her art. Tonight, joining me here on Communication Corner is the owner, operator, and chief artist of Moonlight and Mangoes, and that's Jessica. Pleasure to meet you, Jessica. Hello, how are you? I'm thank well. you for having me. Thanks so much for being here. I appreciate it. And thank you so much for bringing all of this beautiful artwork with you. I really appreciate that. There's a lot of different types of art here, but um, I guess we can just get started by asking you um, how long you've, you've been an artist. When did you know? I have been an artist, I think, all my life since birth. Um, mm -hmm. It's something that I've kept private. I would hide my drawings and paintings and um, so even as a child you were hiding your yes. yeah I'm hiding, hiding your from art. critique yeah and um yes and only about three years ago I started to show my work and mm -hmm. I just had nowhere else to hide it okay what was the catalyst was it because you had been hiding it so long and what was the catalyst for coming out of the uh, out of the studio um, I had an injury a knee injury and I wasn't able to work or to walk and I mm -hmm. painted nonstop. Really? And as I painted more and more, I became more confident, comfortable, mm -hmm. and started to show my work. Mm -hmm. And where did you start showing it at first initially? Um, on social networking, mm -hmm. or you know, showing to family, and mm -hmm. um, not really displaying yet to the public because I wasn't ready for their right. Everyone's critique. criticism and slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. so. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Ah, well, criticism, you know, be be gone. Uh, this is just amazing. Everything that's on set is just so incredibly colorful. So I'm really looking forward to learning a lot more about your art. But you are from Queens, from right here in Queens. Yes. Jamaica State? Yeah. Jamaica Hills. Yes. Jamaica Hills, all right. It's, yes. Right mm -hmm. up the road right from up us the road, here yeah. in, um, in Flushing. So mm -hmm. it's great to have a local artist on QPTV and on Communication Corner. So these bottles that I am just loving in front of us, um, they are all different sizes and different colors. Um, when you're creating your art, what are some of the most important things, you know, no matter what the genre um, that, that you're looking for? Um, usually texture. Texture, um, yeah, so that's something tactile. I like for people to want to touch it mm -hmm. and to be able to feel it and you can see the texture, you know, come up with, without even touching it. Mm -hmm. That's important to me and I'm um, blending colors. I right. try to use cheerful colors and, mm -hmm. blend, you know, Definitely have done a lot that. of contrast and mm -hmm. I just, um, I don't really have a particular style of art. Right. I, I like, I, it comes from within. Mm -hmm. So whatever comes out, that's what it is. And what about repurposing? Because I'm noticing that these are all bottles and they look vaguely familiar, like something I might have seen at a bar somewhere. Um, Not yes. that I go to bars, but <laughs> yes. if I were. <laughs> I, um, painting supplies tend to be expensive and I recycle mm -hmm. a lot of things. I have paintings on wood, glass mm -hmm. bottles. This is um, mm -hmm. a Hennessy bottle. A uh -huh. Ciroc bottle. Right. Um, so they're all... Uh, everything is recycled. They're all alcohol bottles. These are, uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have soda are. bottles too, but mm -hmm. um, I think mm -hmm. there's a soda bottle on another painting here. Right. But um, anything that is, can be recycled and repurposed, re repurposed and, mm -hmm. and made into art. And something like this, uh, this, I just, I love this. What's the name of this piece? Um, this one is called Sparkle. Uh -huh. Well, it does do that. It's it very sparkly. And, um, <laughs> there's crushed leaves right. that are glued to the bottle with uh -huh. glitter and paint and such. And do you use the same sort, the same type of paint for all of these uh, bottles or is no, it different types of paint? I paints? always use different types of paints. Um, this one here uh -huh. is called Procure. And, Procure, um, okay. It's all oil paint uh -huh. and as you can see the texture is... Yeah, um, it feels good. It's different. Now, mm -hmm. Oil paint takes a long time to dry, so mm -hmm. this took about six weeks to dry. Really? So it's the last one I did with just oil. Okay. I mm -hmm. like to layer oil and acrylic. Right. Um, mm -hmm. If you layer oil and acrylic, what is the outcome? Um, it, there's always a different outcome depending yeah. on how thick you um, put the paints, and mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to create until it's created. Really? Yeah. So when you go into your studio, and where's your studio? In your home? It's in my home. Uh -huh. I have my um, 
garage as my studio okay for the warmer months mm -hmm. and then when it's too cold for that I move into the basement of my house I have a studio in the mm -hmm. basement so you retreat into the house yes. in the winter so mm -hmm. about right now you're you're in the house I'm, I'm in the house now this yes. one kind of matches with my shirt so I'm loving mm -hmm. that and um, when you walk into the studio whether it be in your garage or in your house um, do you walk in with the idea that today I'm gonna paint this bottle blue or do you sit down and just kind of let the muse come over you um, I just sit down and look through my paints and just decide mm -hmm. what I'm feeling. Sometimes mm -hmm. with um, a liquid acrylic, I can pour it and, and throw it onto a painting. Mm -hmm. If with an oil paint or a thicker base paint, it's mm -hmm. more precise. I have to use a brush. and So it depends on my mood at the time. Okay. So your mood, uh, if, so you'd use a, 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 a wider brush if you were angry or how does that how does that manifest itself I don't on canvas know about anger I think mm -hmm. um, maybe um, when I'm feeling more emotional I have right. more emotional pieces okay. and when I'm feeling free and, and um, relaxed I might have something more abstract okay so mm -hmm. I, I put all my emotion into the piece so I don't think like oh I'm sad I'm gonna but I noticed that if I am sad I might use darker colors okay so it does manifest itself mm -hmm. even in color or maybe even in texture mm -hmm. and I like the texture on this this mm -hmm. bottle uh, an old alcohol bottle another one we won't say the brand <laughs> but um, I like the spiraling on this mm -hmm. can you tell us about how you would how you make that how you create that um, that is actually the final layer which is the pink it's nail polish and really? it's been dripped mm -hmm. around in a certain pattern to make uh -huh. that um, texture, yes. Okay, so mm -hmm. then first you would put many layers of other paints mm -hmm. underneath. I what kind of paint? I have oil and acrylic here, mm -hmm. and then I covered it with a little bit of glitter paint. Okay. And then the nail polish on top. Drizzle. Mm -hmm. This is just beautiful, I like Thank that. You. So um, with the, I see that there is a lot of use of glitter mm -hmm. across the board. Are those, is that a glitter glue? Is it actual glitter? I'm thinking of when I was in the third grade making cards for Mother's Day and using the glitter. I use is it that traditional? An, anything and everything. Really? Um, I have glitter nail polish, I have glitter paint, I have mm -hmm. glitter that I just pour onto paintings. Right. Um, I reuse Christmas decorations. And okay. A lot of those have glitter on them. The so tinsel. I, I brush them and squeeze them so that the glitter falls onto the painting. Oh. It's a different kind of sparkle that you won't get from plain glitter. Right, sparkle so anything baby. Anything I see that looks mm -hmm. pretty, I'm going to try to incorporate it into a painting. I like that. I like the sparkle. And on some paint, on some of your bottles, if we can do a side by side, you'll see that um, this one is a lot, has a lot more glitter. And then this one uses the glitter as just little accents here and there. Was that, is there a reasoning behind that at all? Or is it just how you were feeling that day? It's just not to, uh, this one has enough um, detail and, and I didn't want to cover it with the glitter. Mm -hmm. So I like that you can see that and then the right. glitter is like an accent as opposed yeah. to the style of the bottle. Some people mm -hmm. like a lot of sparkle and shine. Mm -hmm. I do, so sparkle. I would like this mm -hmm. one. Yeah. Um, some people don't like all that. And that would be something more like yeah. this. Or the blue. There's or this not one even, really yeah. Mm -hmm. It has a shine, but um, mm -hmm. it's not shiny. That's more for a, a man would prefer that, I would think. A little it's less sparkle. Less, less feminine, yes. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. sparkle equals feminine. We like that. And in the very front of this table, mm -hmm. there is just a tremendous painting slash bottle. Mm -hmm. um, how, what would you call it? Would you um, categorize that as a painting, a sculpture, both? Um, 3D art or okay. um, mm -hmm. mixed media art. Mixed media mm -hmm. or three-dimensional art. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us about that? It's just gorgeous. Um, it is a Coca-Cola bottle, mm -hmm. a Coca-Cola bottle that... Um, I glued to the canvas uh -huh. and it has two different meanings. If it's upright, it so it signifies a celebration, like opening so of a champagne I was bottle. Just thinking that, and if it's exploding, up, yes, right. Now if it's upside down, it's a different. It's a bottle pouring mm -hmm. out. It's, right. Mm -hmm. Which is the reason why I don't sign a lot of my art because mm -hmm. one person may see it one way and another may see it the other. And I don't like to make I the gotcha. decision for mm -hmm. the person's going to have it. So if it's signed, let's say, on the quote unquote bottom, then you're, you're going to um, hang it a certain way. Yes. But if I get it home and I'm feeling more celebratory, let's yes. say. You can change it yeah. as, as you wish. <laughs> okay. And then, you know, if, as your mood changes, so can your mm -hmm. art. Yes. I love that. How did you adhere that bottle to that canvas? It, um, it looks like it's on there. It, it it's is. not coming off. It's a lot of glue. Mm -hmm. 
the strongest type of glue they have. Really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And did that take a long time to, uh, you know, to to um, adhere on there? It or? did. It mm -hmm. took a couple of days. Mm -hmm. A couple of days, and um, mm -hmm. I would pick it up and try to move it and say, right. okay, it's not dry. So I just put it in a separate room and mm -hmm. waited a couple of days. Did you paint back. the canvas first, or did you adhere the bottle first? What was the the design Both. process there? I painted the bottle. I painted the canvas, uh -huh. then adhered the bottle, mm -hmm. and then paint it over it again. Okay, so after you adhered mm -hmm. it and it dried, then you mm -hmm. painted over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. How long did that take to make? Um, I don't know. I, I tend to work on several pieces at once, mm -hmm. so I might put it aside and work on something else. Right. So um, I would say in hours, probably about 12 to okay. 14 hours. Well, that's really labor intensive. It's fun. Yeah, it yeah. probably doesn't even seem as if it's no. labor intensive mm -hmm. because for you it's not work, it's, mm -hmm. it's art, it's your muse. Um, so we've looked at the bottles, which I'm absolutely in love with, all of them, the different types, the different textures, the different painting that you used on there. And let's just move over to my left here mm -hmm. uh, to this um, easel. You've got some really great uh, work on this as well, and it's got this texture that is just tremendous. Tell us about this piece on top. Um, this is recycled um, Christmas decorations oh, here. Oh, really? So you're repurposing yes, once everything. again. I love mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And um, the things that are sprinkled on top, they're also the same mm -hmm. thing. Decorations reused, mm -hmm. broken apart. Um, That's the texture part right up yes. here. Yeah. Oops. Um, okay. <laughs> the um, balls that you hang on the tree. Right, right. I just keep scraping them so that everything oh, falls yeah. off. Okay. And and recycling. And this is um, tissue paper. Okay. It's also recycled. With, yeah. Mm -hmm. With glue molded mm -hmm. to create the texture. So when it's still wet, that's when you are that's when um, yes. crushing, anything I can repurposing. To get everything onto the canvas mm -hmm. so that it can dry with it. Amazing. Does this, do either of these have a name? Um, this is called Sisters. Uh -huh. We can pick that up if you'd like. It's, yeah. um, mm -hmm. it's just a, um, it's an emotional piece. It actually began as a, a hostile piece. Okay. And it, was two women that appeared and they didn't seem to like each other right. and mm -hmm. I wasn't comfortable with that mm -hmm. so I put it aside and maybe about six months later or so mm -hmm. I redid it and I had them holding hands kind of supporting each, each other. other they look like they're you know they're not enemies they're friends right. uh, some say they look like they're dancing but right. it's, there's a lot of celebration going on so I changed mm -hmm. the piece I didn't like the message I didn't like what mm -hmm. it was Maybe I had something, you know, some tension with a female or something at the right. time, mm -hmm. but I didn't allow it to stay that way. So mm -hmm. I redid it, and this is what it became. It's gorgeous. It's very jovial. Just the use of the pinks and the whites mm -hmm. make it that much lighter. Can I ask, just personally, why were you, why do you think you were feeling uncomfortable with, um, with um, this art being angry? I don't... Um, I don't promote being angry mm -hmm. or hostile. I want. Right. I feel like everyone should be happy and do what makes them happy. So mm -hmm. I don't want to paint something that looks, you know, unhappy or. or mm -hmm. I don't. I don't want to project that anger. Right. Sadness is a different thing. Sadness can be projected into art, but mm -hmm. hostility, no. no. I, I didn't like okay. it, so we'll I changed it. That is great, and I like the fact that you are you're sophisticated enough as an artist to see where something is going and then to change that path. Yeah. yeah. Even have if I can't change it at the, that time, I might mm -hmm. put it away and leave it visible so right. that at one time I'm ready to complete it. Right. Mm -hmm. and so when the mood is right, mm -hmm. when you're feeling mentally and physically mm -hmm. ready, then you can go back and complete it. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Thanks. And um, so now that we've looked at this easel, which is just beautiful between the light and the dark um, of the one on the bottom, and then all of these beautiful textures of this one on the top. Uh, let's move over to the next easel, which I like. It's got a little bit of a theme going on on mm -hmm. this easel. There's three pieces over here, and they're all faces or women. Mm -hmm. um, these two, are they part of a, uh, uh, this a is, series? Well, uh -huh. this is um, Bella, the name of this painting. Uh -huh. And um, Bella is part of the Moonlight collection, which is basically mm -hmm. a featuring the motions of women. Right. So the Moonlight collection, women in their moonlight, yes. I guess. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Showing their, their strength, uh -huh. their um, courage. Mm -hmm. They may not be ex extremely happy, mm -hmm. but there's always a strength. There's always a positivity. Mm -hmm. There's a little sadness, but I think that comes with all women. Yeah. And know? with all art. Yes. Okay. Yes. 
And mm -hmm. um, about how long did this take to create? Do you have an idea? Um, I know that you work on several things. I don't all know at once. if you are able to see um, yeah. underneath. Mm -hmm. There was another painting. There was no, an abstract. No, really. Let's A lot of my work is look. Here. Uh -huh. covered. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed the same when I went to the Basquiat exhibit. Right. I could. And, and is that one of your one of your yes. um, inspirations? Yes. Muses. Inspirations. Yes. He's mm -hmm. Haitian American. Right. He was mm -hmm. Haitian and. Um, I see a lot of myself in him emotionally. You know, he struggled, and um, when I saw his paintings in person for the mm -hmm. first time, I was amazed because I saw the same themes that I have in my artwork. Right. I saw that things had been covered, paint had been thrown over, completed paintings and right. done over. And as you can see, that's something that I do. If I don't like the way it looks, mm -hmm. I would just paint over it or, mm -hmm. you know, put it aside until I'm ready. Right. And you mentioned Basquiat uh, and. Uh, a Haitian painter, mm -hmm. and you yourself are a Haitian, a Haitian. painter. Yes, painter. I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, where's your family from in Haiti? Port-au-Prince. Okay. Mm -hmm. Passe. <laughs> yes. um, Shout out to to all of our Haitian mm -hmm. viewers. And um, and so to see that commonality, do you think that the commonality between you two painters is because of your shared Haitian roots? Oh, I, I definitely do. Um, really? There's mm -hmm. a certain culture of our paintings, they sh always show emotion. Haitian paintings mm -hmm. are different than other paintings in the world. How so? Um, they are not always pretty. Mm -hmm. they, they, they show emotion. You, it's more than just a picture. Mm -hmm. It's a story. Right. You can see, okay, this person, what they're feeling. You can almost feel that emotion as opposed to looking at a picture of a ship or a fruit where there's no emotion involved. Right. So. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And this one is? This one is unnamed. Okay. It is also something that was covered over. Mm -hmm. um, but what I see so is... So something else lived on this canvas before. Something lived on this canvas before, and mm -hmm. you can still see... Um, Little bits of it. Is that the white pieces yes. that we see sticking mm -hmm. out? And I notice with the eyes, there's a lot of texture. Mm -hmm. is, how did you create that? The eyes are something that I spend a lot of time on, so mm -hmm. I may go over it many, many times. Mm -hmm. And that's with across the board with all of your art? Mm -hmm. You spend a lot of time on the eyes? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. With different types of paint, and if mm -hmm. I put a certain type of paint, it creates a texture, mm -hmm. and I can go back and add, but mm -hmm. the eyes are the s window to the soul. Right. So mm -hmm. in the paintings, if you can see the soul through my the eyes, then, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, this is beautiful. So we're going to put this down and look at the one right behind it. This woman in red, does she have a name? She does not have a name. Uh -huh. um, she has been in progress for uh, a long time. Probably close to a year. Mm -hmm. um, I, for some reason, I, I have the, um, the stairs leading here and the city. Right. And it's basically she's looking mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. at the city, and mm -hmm. it's basically about. Um, life changes, right? And um, so she's know, kind of moving, moving forward. through. Okay, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she's got her hands a little bit. She's looking back, a little bit confident, a little sad, uh -huh. but um, mm -hmm. that's pretty much with her. And I notice again the eyes, mm -hmm. very detailed, with a little bit of um, texture in mm -hmm. there. And I love that she's kind of looking back mm -hmm. at the city over mm -hmm. here, the um, the skyline, and then the stairs. It's not really made clear. Is she going up the stairs or down the stairs? Um, in my mind, um, mm -hmm. she was standing in front of it. She wasn't mm -hmm. actually yeah. on the stairs. Um, uh huh. It kind of. Uh huh. It's, so she's up. She's it's a separation of this staircase goes towards the um, waterfall. Mm -hmm. This one goes towards the city. Right. So okay. So she's kind of stuck between she's two stuck worlds. Stuck between even. two worlds. Yes. Okay. Looking oh, okay. back at the past and. Right heading towards the future. Mm -hmm. Her body is shaped towards the future. Right. And, yeah, and so. her eyes are kind of looking back. Yes. Really interesting. Yeah. Let's move over to this next easel right here in the middle. This mm -hmm. is, um, first of all, I'm in love with this frame. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about the frame? Um, this is a recycled frame from mm -hmm. a painting that my godmother did uh -huh. that was coming out of the frame and I used it to put one of my paintings in. Um, is it an older frame? Like has it been in frame. the family? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, it hung in my uh, parents' house. I think my godmother did it maybe like 40 years ago. Okay. And she was 20 something. Wow. So I do need to put that painting back for her. But yeah. it, it looks good. <laughs> this is symphony. Mm -hmm. And um, this is a little bit more structured than a lot right. of the things I do. There's, but um, and glittery. Mm -hmm. It's very shiny. We like um, the shine. We like the glitter. Is this a traditional paint? What kind of paint is this? Again, it's oil. I have mm -hmm. um, 
acrylic, mm -hmm. glitter, mm -hmm. glitter paint, a lot of different things. I like this. Mm -hmm. And I just like the, I know that the name is Symphony, and it kind of looks like a musical note, mm -hmm. with something like that going through. Is that part of your theme? It actually was an afterthought. Mm -hmm. um, I, after, it originally, mm -hmm. Um, I see like a maternal thing in the mm -hmm. center. Right. That, yeah. Okay, I, like a womb. Is, yes. Okay. That's mm -hmm. what I saw when I was painting it, but when it was done, uh -huh. symphony came to my mind. Okay. So it, it can have a different meaning for different people. Mm -hmm. And it could be a symphony of a lot of different things mm -hmm. going on in a woman's body even. That's right? true, yes. And right <laughs> below, um, mm -hmm. this, I, I really like the, I want to say the yin and the yang of this painting, even mm -hmm. though that's, that's kind of far reaching. But tell me about what's really hidden in this painting. Oh, so much is hidden in this painting. Um, I it, there's so many layers that I'm looking at it now, trying to remember what it was originally. Mm -hmm. um, what I, for me, I see a castle, but it's like right. it's like paradise or the promised land, mm -hmm. but it's so distorted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think that it, that relates to people um, people's goals and lives and what makes you happy. Right. Would, would a castle make you happy, or you know whatever it is. Mm -hmm. This are you happy like with what you have, or do you have? Do you, are you looking for something else? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. And also with this, there's that texture. There's a little bit of sparkle mm -hmm. on there. Was this repurposed something? Yes, this is a, a Christmas ornament. Again. Of all. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And does this have a name? It doesn't. No. no? Okay. Mm -hmm. I just like the castle aspect mm -hmm. of this painting. I'm going to put it down. Mm -hmm. uh, I like that whole castle aspect that there's something hiding in the mist behind that painting. That's mm -hmm. that's just very interesting to me. And let's move over to this uh, last uh, easel over here. Again, some favorites of mine, the bottles. Again, mm -hmm. um, 3D art. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this painting. Um, this painting, it's two wine bottles. Um, they are connected with mm -hmm. glue. With this glue right here. Yes, yeah. and it, as you, it's, it's hard mm -hmm. enough that it... Right. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually formed the glue mm -hmm. to create the effect that it's pouring and then right. painted over it. Mm -hmm. And this painting was just a lot about freedom. Mm -hmm. I threw paint a lot. I dropped. I didn't pay attention to what colors might look good together. I mm -hmm. wanted it to be chaotic. So I think it shows. Right. And I left my paintbrush here just. <laughs> did you, how did you, is that painted on or is that glued? It's painted and glued on okay. like the bottles. Um, uh. Just for an effect and um, again, repurposing. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. A little bit of chaos. Mm -hmm. um, the bottles are connected. Are we all connected? Is that is that what you were going for here? Or am I reading too much into it? Um, <laughs> it you know, everybody has their own interpretations, and I love mm -hmm. to hear what people see when they look at my art. Right. So mm -hmm. I may not see what you see, and you may not see what I see, uh -huh. but as long as you see something and mm -hmm. it's important to you, then that's great. Mm -hmm. And I notice with this and just a few other pieces, there are just a few spots of canvas uh, where there's no paint. Was mm -hmm. that intentional? Um, I think so. yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's intentional because it show it's not it's not um how mm -hmm. would I say <sighs> clearly detailed. It's right. not precise. It's not perfect. It's, it's not like perfect. humans. We're mm -hmm. not perfect. We mm -hmm. you know, we can't be perfect and sometimes art is that way. Mm -hmm. So So art's not perfect just like If we're I not tried perfect. to make this perfect, I would mm -hmm. ruin it. And I think that sometimes people do that to themselves. Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, before we wrap things up, just tell us, Jessica, where can we go to find information about all of your art? Um, www.moonlightandmangos.com. Moonlightandmangos.com. And where can we email you for more information? Moonlightandmangos at Gmail or mm -hmm. moonlightandmangos at Yahoo. Okay. So it, no matter how you go, or even if you go to Facebook. Yes, Facebook, Tumblr, mm -hmm. Twitter, Moonlight and Mangos. Instagram, yes, Moonlight and Mangos. And mm -hmm. the, then your whole catalog is there. I know that this, believe, even though it seems it's like a, a lot of work. It's a part of my work. Yes. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. just a little small sampling. Mm -hmm. About how many pieces do you think are in your entire catalog? Um, probably over 250. Wow. And how long have you been doing this really? I mean, I know you said that you've been an artist since you can remember, since you were a I've child. I've been doing it full time for mm -hmm. almost two years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And about in that time, how many things, how many pieces do you think you've created probably in the past two years? Probably over 200. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's when you decided to really go hard. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. a lot of the things that I had created before, they've been changed. Really? Okay, like you did with these paintings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if I, if I look back at something and I don't think it's good enough, mm -hmm. I might paint over it or fix it. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. And this one down here on the bottom, it's a little bit unsettling to me. I, I know that it's pastels. It's a beautiful, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful piece in that sense. But it's unsettling to me, I guess, because of the horizontalness mm -hmm. in nature. What were you trying to express here? Um, I guess um, how the calm and the storm. Right. Where you can have a, you can have chaos and ca calm at the same time. Right. So here, um, there's a sun. There's there's a vision of r relaxation, but mm -hmm. yet there's chaos all over, and that's yeah. life. Mm -hmm. You have to have you know chaos and calm mm -hmm. and and blend them and balance them, which See. is what I tried to do in this painting. Yeah, I like that, and I love the bright colors too. Mm -hmm. And then there's a little bit of texture, and there's a little bit of sparkle. Mm -hmm. So if there's sparkle and texture. It's for me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's beautiful as well. Let's just go back to those bottles, shall we? Mm -hmm. Over on this side here and just show this one piece that I really love. Here we go. It's again another cityscape. Mm -hmm. Can you just tell us about her? Um, she is looking back at mm -hmm. her past life and um, I don't know if you can see there are faces which yeah, I didn't that's what I like. need uh -huh. to create. A mm -hmm. lot of times faces appear. Face. And, um, Face. But she's angled away from the negativity. Mm -hmm. She's stepping on those scary looking faces nice. and um, just moving triumphant. forward. Triumphant, yes. Mm -hmm. She's also looking back yet moving forward, mm -hmm. which is I guess is a theme. Right. Um, In so your art. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, Do you feel um, with your art across the board that as you change your art changes as well? Uh, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks, Jessica. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us. And remember, everybody, it's Moonlight and Mangoes. Moonlightandmangoes.com is where you can find more of Jessica's work. Thanks so much. Gosh, time really flew here today on Thank Communication you. Corner. You can always email me, Gail Lewis, newday, N-E-W-D-A-Y, 2010 at yahoo.com. Feel free to email me and tell me what you think about the show, about Jessica, and about whatever else. Uh, so thanks again, Jessica. Moonlightandmangoes.com. Check her out. And um, have a great evening. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining us here on Communication Corner. And we're going to see you again real soon. Have a great night.